It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Patriots getting ready to take over on offense and leading him out in his second go-around as a Patriot, their ninth-year quarterback, Jacoby Brissett. And we're talking about one of the true professionals in every sense of the word at the quarterback position because... When he's on the field, he gives your team a chance to win. But coming up, he was behind Tom Brady in New England and learned how to be a pro from him, and now he's willing to pass those lessons on. Yes, he wants to be the starter, but he's more than able to help those behind him if they're willing to put the time in. Brissett going to go to the air right away. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. From the gun, here's Brissad. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Here's Brissett. And his throw is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Brissett. Yeah. 
And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And Jordan Brooks on the tackle. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive agreed and they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better but I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run this drive has gone pretty well I could come right back at them Hunter Henry brings it in they get seven out of that so they're left with a third and three and there's a completion to the tight end and look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot six four six five and up a lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Brissett. And this complete to Henry over the middle. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll throw again. Brissett. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Emmanuel Ogba that time able to drop him for a loss. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. So the missed 56-yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Out of the gun, Huntley. Throw caught by Ochan. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line.
Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Hartley working from the gun. A quick throw there is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Hundley looks to throw. Short throw to Smith. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. That is caught. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Hill going to go in motion right. Huntley off of play action. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. Gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. From the eight, they've got it first and goal. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Here's Mostert. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. As large as been the air attack has gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. In motion goes the tight end. Mostert. Will score. Touchdown, Miami. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, 
but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. To the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders oh a good return up past the 30 so back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive and the way their last drive ended boy it was frustrating they had a pretty good drive going it was sustained and then it stalled out Charles and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it is that insult to injury because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw is Brissett. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this to the 44-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. A starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the, they had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB two is bringing the back up. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, you take them downfield and you don't score points. You know, I'm being totally <laughs> facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Brissett sets to throw it. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and ten. Brissette again. Short pick. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So 
So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Into the air once more. It's Brissett. To the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poirier. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, CD, I think they were in nickel that time, which we see so often in today's NFL. And there it helped them net their first pick six of the contest. Nice eyes. Good observation there, partner. You nailed it. This is a defense that likes to mix up and disguise coverages, but it did end up being one of their main packages, the nickel, that fooled them that time. And they made the most of the miscue with a nice return. Sanders on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Powering his way forward. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. New England's offense set to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Stevenson now on first and 10. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Douglas, the man in motion. Throwing. Brissad. Over the middle, complete. It's Douglas. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Brissette. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Running left is Stevenson. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. 
And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and nine. Here's Brissett. Completes this one to Thornton. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Out of the gun, Brissett. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. So Miami coming out for their second drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. In motion, Hill. They go play action with Huntley. Finding Waddle crossing the field and bringing it in. Pitch and catch there, good for 13. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball on the 39. Here's second and five. To throw Huntley. That's out to Hill. Right side complete. And Hill is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll get this up past the 45. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. And ever since Tyreek Hill arrived in Miami, somehow taking his game to new heights. He's eclipsed the 1,700-yard mark in each of the last two years. And at one point last season, it seemed that he was destined to be the first wide receiver to total 2,000 receiving yards in a single season. He's truly a special talent and has become the focal point of arguably the most explosive offense in the NFL. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. Up the middle, a chance. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And A-Chan is someone the Dolphins are expecting a lot from in his sophomore season. He's an electric playmaker, 
who every time he touches the ball feels like he could go the distance. Slot man moves right. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Here's Huntley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Huntley. Now he's forced out left. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw here, Huntley. His throw incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Huntley. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Braxton Berrios, 34 yards. And the Dolphins take a three-touchdown lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half, and now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try and mount a comeback. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 21 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. New England trying to get into place on offense. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll make it second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Okay, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Then he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Now Brissett. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
So on fourth down, here's Bryce Barringer on to punt for the Patriots. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Huntley to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route, going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A run with Mostert up the middle. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. And obviously that's well short of the first down. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. The back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. set now got his man it's Thornton now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one they'll operate from the 32 yard line here second and three Brissett eluding the and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes the Dolphins going to take their second timeout so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. In motion left, that's Thornton. Now they show jet sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And they do have terrific starting field position, but no timeouts to work with, so they'll need to operate quickly.
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Motion man is Berrios. They got a quick throw here. That's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. The final shot before break. Huntley, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And he will be able to recover this himself to prevent a wacky ending here. But that will be how this first half comes to an end. So we've reached halftime here. And it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. It was Raheem Mostert, the veteran who did some damage in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. Third quarter starts with a run from Moster. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They work now on second and nine. Off the play fake. Huntley. And Huntley showing that playmaking ability. Runs for the first and slides to a stop. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. In motion, Hill. On first and 10, it's Mostert. Down inside the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down and six. Once again, it's Mostert. A strong running. <laughs> and he's going to get this inside the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Out of the gun, Huntley. It's caught, Smith. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. But one thing's for sure, they're still taking their shots downfield, even with a big lead. Now, I think it's way too early to go into a shell, so I like what they're doing. Continue to take your shots, continue to be aggressive. It's not their job to slow themselves down. Hardly looks to throw. Now he's got it. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it is 28 nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Here's Brissett. He finds his man complete. That's Thornton. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome, but completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Pass caught here by Osborne. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play action with Brissett. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? 
to throw Brissad. That is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Tyquan Thornton, 34 yards. And the Patriots are able to cut into that deficit. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer, but it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. Joey Sly on for the extra point. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Tyquan Thornton who brought in the touchdown reception to cap things off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. In motion, Hill. Huntley off of play action. Sliding out of the pocket. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier. And they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage. But he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Second and six. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Huntley working from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Looking to throw. Huntley. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I certainly like the idea. You're down on their side of the field. Get your big play guy involved. That time, they put one up for him to see if he can pull it down in the end zone. But the coverage was good, and it winds up incomplete. 
And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine yard line. Nice punt. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Back near his goal line, Brissett. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. On the handoff, Stevenson. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Brissett sets to throw it. He finds Douglas complete. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 43-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. There are so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. In motion, Hill. They go play action here on first down. 
He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Nifty move. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping him. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They hand it off to Mostert. Four yards on the pick up there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now a give to Mostert running right. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Douglas with a grab over the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? 
Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. that has been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Brissett from the gun on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad so many times when we talk about covers we're just about a defender running with a receiver but a big part of it is understanding where the football is finding it in this case when it arrived it wasn't a surprise and he was able to bat it away so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down from the midfield stripe they'll look to throw oh he dropped it they were looking for him in the middle third he couldn't catch it now third down that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. The offense on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and 10. They'll throw again, Brissett. And he can only manage to get this to the 45 yard line, well short of the first. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down. Trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done as you noted. And they did. Here's Brissett. Right side. Thornton with it. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. This is caught. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. To throw is Brissett. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. So the Patriot offense stays out there and they'll line up and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And that's pretty good coverage by the kick team, as he'll only be able to get this past the 15 yard line and no further. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Open man is Waddle complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Moster gets around him. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Keon Wright got in there for the sack. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense with Jacoby Brissett getting ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Throw fighting Thornton over the middle. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Brissett. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Completes this one to Thornton. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down.
And in the air once more, it's Brissett. He'll find Osborne here. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, third and a yard. Brissett steps away to his left. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 24-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a side of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun, here's Brissett. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. Brissett. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's Brissett. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Here we go. First and goal. Now Brissett. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Out of the gun, Brissett. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Late game situation, things seem to be unraveling just a little bit, and that's when you start forcing the football, mainly out of necessity. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete, nearly picked off. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Again, it's Brissett. And this is going to be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here it is, fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. K.J. Osborne from 13 yards out. And the Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points.
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't feel right. Exactly. <laughs> A very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way now. It's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one-score game, right? Touchdown, get two, and now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it, still down 10. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down and one. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. One final kneel down here as it comes inside the 40-second mark, and that should be enough to put this one on ice. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.